I think Evenly might have to go soon. Uh, I don't think so. I don't agree with e Evenly being a problem. Evenly is not even that good of a card. It's fine. I think cards... Cards that could potentially be a problem. Let's think of it in another way. What are some cards that could become a problem if Baron isn't around anymore? Like, one is obviously Nibiru. However, I think banning Nibiru or getting rid of Nibiru after you ban Baron is, is kind of weird. Like, I think the threat of Nibiru is, at this point in time, I think the threat of Nibiru is important because otherwise... You don't even need Baron to go crazy, right? If 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 Nibiru doesn't exist right now, like Nibiru is literally right now the only thing that's stopping people from going completely nuts on the first turn. Um, so I think that's important. How is Shifter still legal? Shifter is is uh, Shifter being legal is another big. Uh, I I think that's a mistake on this ban list. I think the fact that they ignored Shifter is. I I don't think that's smart. I think that's a mistake. Um, but it's a different kind of problem, right? The Shifter is a different kind of problem. Shifter's fine. I don't think Shifter's fine. I I think I think Shifter. The problem with Shifter is that it only benefits some decks. Which you, to an extent, you might think that's good, right? You're like, okay, but some decks deserve to have Shifter because they are otherwise not powerful enough. The problem is that Shifter, because of that, Shifter is... How do you, how do, how do I phrase this? Like, when, it, from my perspective, I think cards like, cards like that, cards that punish certain behavior, right? Like Nibiru or Maxi or... Dimension Shifter, they all punish something, right? They are kind of like, they are kind of like banned eight fixes because the game has gotten out of control. Droll as well, right? Droll, Droll is another one of those cards, right? Um, where some of them you might think are necessary, some of them you might think are a little bit too powerful. Like I personally think Maxi is a good idea, but too powerful. We've talked about that earlier because of the the new Maxi and all that. Um, those kind of cards. I think they can be okay, but the problem with Shifter specifically is that it doesn't have the desired impact. Because the desired impact of those kind of cards is that the threat of these cards forces people to adjust their game plan, right? Like how Nibiru existing forces you to play a deck that doesn't overextend as much if you don't have baron obviously that's something that that's another problem is that they keep creating answers to these cards so that people don't have to respect them right like it's the same with max c like max c in theory would make people play slower decks but the fact that you have three ash called by and cross out just makes it so you can ignore it right that's another problem um because you don't actually get punished for playing a combo deck most of the time because chances are your opponent either doesn't have maxi or you have a way to negate it right and that ends up being so like i can play my combo deck anyways um but with shifter the problem is the same thing people aren't forced to ref to respect shifter because shifter is just not that popular because not every deck can play it there's only like a few decks that can play it therefore you only see shifter if you go to like a I don't know, let's say you go to a 12 round YCS, which is like six rounds of top cut. So that's a maximum of 18 rounds. Realistically, from my recent YCS experiences, you see shifter decks maybe like three times. Right? You only, you only see it like three times or something. And therefore, it's not reasonable to prepare for it. You don't have to like play a deck that doesn't care about shifter because you only see it every so often and so uh but then that what that what that makes it is it makes it really really um frustrating when it does happen right it makes it all the more frustrating because then you sit there and you're like should i have prepared for shifter should i have uh should i have uh should i have prepared for shifter and you're like when you think about it in a reasonable fashion you're like no i shouldn't have it's not that popular so I can't do anything to avoid it, right? Because the only things you can do to avoid losing the shifter is preparing your deck for it. But you know, you, you can't do that reasonably, right? It's the same thing with playing outs to floodgates in your main deck, right? It's the same thing like, oh, 
I lost to Skill Drain in game one. Should I have main decked Cosmic Cyclone? And then you look at a meta game of like nine out of 10 decks that just don't play any spell, uh, like trap cards that you can hit with Cosmic. And so like, yeah, obviously I shouldn't have played Cosmic Cyclone, but uh, how am I going to avoid to Skill Drain? Uh, losing to Skill Drain then? The answer is you won't. You just lose to it. And that's frustrating. That's where frustration um, comes from in, in these sort of situations, right? Watch Josh stream equals win YCS. I mean, <laughs> oh, there you are, Christian Urena. Congratulations again. I've already said it earlier. Shout outs. Yeah, I, I think I think both arguments, I think, and I think that's the problem. I think both arguments have some ground to it. Like, I think it is fair to say that certain decks just are worse because they don't use the graveyard at all. And so therefore they deserved a little bit of a boost in by getting to use a card like shifter right sure i guess i can i can i i don't share that idea i don't think that's i don't think that's true but i get where that's coming from like i understand it um and then the other take is just shifter auto wins games and therefore shouldn't be in the game because people can't realistically prepare for it because only like a couple decks actually play it um that's that's where i that's the that, that's the camp i'm in but i think both have some merit same as maxi the idea is fine but it's too good uh i think maxi has a different problem but something like that the idea behind shifter i can understand but i yeah i don't think the execution is perfect like I think, uh, I think when they made that, we've talked about this in the past, but Sh all, Shifter, Nibiru, and Dark Ruler all came out at the same time, and I think it was pretty clearly meant to be a, a a way to slow down the game by the TCG designers, right? Like they made Shifter, Nibiru, and Dark Ruler in the same Megaton to uh, to to help us deal with the combo stuff, and uh, I think Nibiru has turned out pretty well. I think Dark Ruler has turned out pretty well. I think uh, Shifter backfired a little bit. I think the idea behind Shifter was solid because it was the same idea behind Dark Ruler and, and, and Nibiru, but I think Shifter just kind of backfired. I think they just made it a little bit too powerful and a little bit too niche, right? Because Nibiru, Nibiru and Dark Ruler, they do exactly that, right? Like literally think about how often in the past couple of years you have sat down and thought about how to play around Nib, how to deal with Dark Ruler, and maybe how often you have maybe dismissed a certain combo deck or a certain strategy because it would lose to Dark Ruler or because it would lose to Nibiru, right? That's the impact that those two cards have had on the game. And that's a positive impact, right? The fact that people are disregarding certain combos because they make so powerful boards, but they die to Dark Ruler or because they can't play around Nibiru, that's a good thing. That's what they want, right? They want us to play less of that stuff which is a good thing. I agree with that. I want that. I want people to play less of these kind of decks if they if they go crazy but can't play around Dark Ruler. That's a good thing, right? Um, Shifter doesn't really do that, right? Like, think of it the last time. When have you ever not played a deck because it loses to Shifter? When have you ever sat down and maybe tried to work out a line that can outplay Shifter? You don't do that. You can't really do that because Shifter is just a lingering effect that lasts for the entire turn and uh, it's not realistic to, like, it's just not really um, feasible, right? Because your deck either plays around Shifter or it doesn't. Uh, the, the, the best example of this is Tier Limits, right? Like, if Tier Limits was a deck that would have always lost to Nibiru, it wouldn't have been Tier 0. But it wasn't, right? Because Nibiru can theoretically be played in every deck. Helaman's was a deck that auto-passed to Shifter, but it still didn't have to respect Shifter because freaking it was only Flu and maybe Exosister and some sprite versions, but for the most part, not every deck was able to play Shifter. So you wouldn't have you didn't have to really respect it, right? You could do Baguskan. Yeah, you had a plan. You had a plan, but it wasn't like most of the time shifter won the game against um against tier but it still was the best deck now if that was the case if, if if tier had a board that would have completely lost to nib or dark ruler it would not have been the same thing right it would not have been the same thing the one exception was mannequin cat oh yeah mannequin cat in in runic sprite was a uh, was one way to play around shifter that was quite um nice 
but it's that's definitely the exception right that's definitely the exception